Bro, I can't wait to buy myself a gaming mouse, man. I want to drag click on children. Let me get that wallet real quick. All right, let me get my money real quick. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. If you're a person that's on a tight budget and looking for a decent drag clicking mouse, I think this video might be just for you. I'll be covering the top 5 best budget drag clicking mice under $50 and I'll be doing it from least to the most expensive. If I do not list your mouse in the video, such as a popular drag clicking mouse, it's probably because I wanted to share the more underrated drag clicking mice that no one really knows about. It would really mean a lot to me if you can subscribe and like. We are on our way to 6,000 subscribers. The support recently has been insane. I love you all. If you don't subscribe and like, this beating stick in my hand will come for you. Enjoy the video. At number 5, we have the office mouse, or the cherry mouse. Now this is probably weird as none of you guys are used to someone saying an office mouse, but this can definitely be a great mouse for a beginner on a tight budget. Before I got the M711 Cobra and the K100, I started to moonwalk and drag click with an old office mouse I found in the basement, and it worked really well. If you've seen YouTube videos of people drag clicking on an office mouse, you know it can be reliable. One of my moonwalking videos on my channel was actually done by an office mouse. Obviously, if it's an office mouse, your CPS will be much lower compared to a gaming mouse. The highest short drags I could get on an office mouse would be 10 CPS, whereas the long drags would be 15 to 20 CPS, which is not bad for a $5 mouse. A great way to start if you have nothing around you, and this is the, one of the best alternatives I would always recommend. The office mouse can really be one of your options. Now if you want to step up the quality and the overall product of the mouse, for number 4 I would definitely suggest the Red Dragon M601 or the M711. Now both of these mice are almost the same when it comes to drag clicking, but in my opinion the M601 is severely underrated and much better than the M711 by a little bit. The M601 cost $16, whereas the M711 Cobra cost $20, not much of a difference, yet the M601 can drag a little better in my opinion. My old videos are done with the M711 if you want an idea, as well as misdemeanors old videos, he also used this mouse. As well, I have some clips of people reviewing the M601 in more detail and testing it. I definitely think the M601 is very underrated and for $16, it really gives you a chance to bridge. At number 3, we have the MM710 Cooler Master Drag Clicking Mouse. Now this, this is another mouse that's not very heard often and this mouse costs $42 and is on sale when recording this video. This mouse kind of reminds me of the Model O when it comes to the design and the amount of CPS it generates. This mouse can butterfly click 20 CPS and can fairly drag click decently from 20 to 30 CPS, which is almost perfect for anything. I also have a clip of a person drag clicking on this mouse and going in more detail on the screen. This is a very underrated mouse and great for drag clicking. It's like a less superior version of the Model O. I would definitely recommend this mouse under $50 as it's very underrated. As we approach number 1, for number 2 we have the Rokat Kane 100 a mount. Now obviously, you're probably like, this is an overrated mouse, but it's really not. Most of the overrated drag clicking mice in Rokat are the bigger tiers such as the EMP and the XCD which is not a bad thing, but the Rokat K100 is a more quiet and a perfect budget drag clicking mouse. It costs $35 to $50 depending on where you live and can also be great for butterfly clicking. But the clicking space can be a bit small. It weighs around 89 grams, which is considerably light for the price. I've made a more detailed review about this mouse on my channel and will be showing you a clip of me dragging on this mouse.
For the grand finale, for number 1, we have the Rokat Kova. Now, you're probably expecting the bloody A70, but I wanted more underrated budget mice to be more recognized into the community. The Kova is an outstanding mouse for drag clicking and PvP, and it's a slightly better version of the KN100 as it provides you more space to click. The price of the Kova is $44, which is totally worth it for the quality and experience with this mouse. It weighs around 99 grams, which is a bit heavier, but still is pretty solid in quality. The Rokat Kova is decent for short drag and long dragging, and these clips will show you how good of the mouse the Rokat Kova is. Thank you guys very very much for watching the video, it truly means a lot to me. I hope this video helped you and that you can make up your mind on which mouse you would want to buy if you're low on money. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want me to do as well as join my discord, I'm very active there. I might be releasing a montage for 6k so stay tuned for that as well if you go to my community post, I made a post there about a Q&A. Feel free to ask me any question related to anything about me, the channel, or general topics you want me to answer. The more questions I have, the more better the Q&A will be. But other than that, I really hope you guys stay safe. Peace.